a powerful new weather satellite is in orbit. It'll give meteorologists like Megan Glaros a powerful tool for predicting extreme weather. Megan, good morning. Cause for celebration, <laughs> Anthony and Nora, because every tool in our arsenal is a good thing. You know, it is an imperfect science, but there is much we still don't know about precipitation itself, clouds, storm systems that form in the sky. Soon, however, we should finally get some answers. All systems are ready. Go. The high-tech satellite was blasted into orbit without much fanfare, even though it will soon help meteorologists around the world forecast big storms. The $1.2 billion Global Precipitation Measurement Core Observatory is a joint mission between NASA and its Japanese counterpart. The Hubble Space Telescope and the Mars Curiosity rover, high-profile spacecraft like that, get all the attention. But this mission is arguably much more important to the average person. NASA says it will help predict weather patterns after a year of deadly tornado outbreaks in the heartland, massive droughts out west, and record-breaking snowfall seemingly everywhere. It's going to help the forecasters improve their climate models, and that's going to pay big dividends down the road. It's goal to serve as an anchor and link data from other weather satellites to more accurately measure precipitation anywhere in the world every three hours. Candace Carlisle is the deputy project manager. I think that everyone can understand pretty easily how being able to better understand the weather, better understand these snow systems, better understand these hurricane or tsunami systems will improve all of our lives. The 8,500-pound satellite was built at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center in Greenbelt, Maryland. It was then shipped by plane and barge, where it was then reassembled for launch from an island off Japan. The satellite is expected to start providing real-time data within two months, which is thankfully just in time for the start of hurricane season. Which comes after the lovely winter we've been having. Which comes <laughs> after the lovely winter we've been having. How much of a game changer is this? It's huge. I cannot even tell you because 71% of the globe is covered by ocean. We only get radar data about a couple hundred miles offshore. So essentially the entire Atlantic Ocean, we have not much idea what's happening in terms of the radar picture. We see satellite imagery shows us cloud cover, but now we're finally going to get an idea about what is happening over the ocean itself. And this will be huge because all that data will be fed into satellites and that data then goes into computer systems, computer models. We get a better idea of where these storms go. So better science, and as you know, a lot of people, yeah. though, take out their rage at meteorologists. Oh, I know. <laughs> I know. Why did they get it wrong, you know? <laughs> I always say I get so many bad looks in the grocery store, especially this winter, because, you know, people will say, what is going on? Why did you tell us it's six inches and it's 12? Well, because we do the best that we can with the knowledge we have, but every piece of information that's fed into those models gives us a better idea of where these storms go. All right. Megan, thank you so much. Thank you.